What's going on, my friends? Today I've got an active recovery workout for you. So this one is going to be low impact. However, I'm gonna give you options to make things a little more intense, uh, kind of to see how you're feeling as we go through this workout. We'll worry about that when we get there. Um, it's all body weight, so you don't need any equipment. This is a workout for when you're like, I wanna work out, but I'm super sore, or I feel like I might be overtraining. This is the workout for you. This is to get the movement in. We're gonna stretch a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of yoga type stuff. Gonna feel good, it's all good guys. Before we get into this, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe so you don't ever miss a video. All right guys, let's get warmed up. Guys, we're gonna do a quick little warm up just to get us a little bit limber for the rest of this workout, this active recovery workout. So let's start with those shoulders. Big shrug up and then roll them down slide the shoulder blades into your back pockets. Good, now go ahead and reverse it there. Going forward, big shrug up, rolling forward. And now bring those shoulders back and down again. I'm gonna do a few deep breaths here. So I'm gonna breathe in as I reach overhead, and then exhale, good, again, in, exhale. I'm gonna do one more, and this time I'm gonna dive down. So big breath in. And then dive down, all the way down into like a forward fold here. Spend as much time as you need to. Stretch out the back of the legs. And then I'm gonna bring the hands to the ground, pop myself out to plank. And we're gonna slowly lower down and bring it into an upward facing dog or a cobra. Breathing here, curling the toes under as I push myself into a downward facing dog. <sighs> Big exhale there. And then I'm going to take my right leg, lift up, hold it for just a second. Now bend at the knee as you open at the hips. So you're kind of scorpioning, scorpioning here. And then bring that leg up and under for a pigeon stretch here. Relax into it. Good, and let's go back into that downward dog and do the same progression on the left leg. So pedal your feet for just a sec and bring the left leg up. Hold for just a second. Bend at the knee, open as I kick my wall. <sighs> Deep breath here. And then bring it up and under. Pigeon, relax into it if you can. Couple deep breaths. <sighs> And then bring yourself back into that downward dog and you can hop or step up to back into that fold and then roll yourself up slow, steady, all the way up, shoulders back and down, deep breath in, deep breath out. We are ready to work out. All right guys, we are working for 45 seconds and then we've got 15 seconds to rest, recover, and figure out the next exercise. We are starting with an inchworm to a lizard tuck. So we're all gonna be bringing our left leg out first. So we're just gonna stay on that left side. So I'm gonna inch out to plank, bring that left foot to the outside of my hands, tuck my right leg in, out, bring it back, inch it back up. Here we go. Roll down. Walk out to plank, left leg comes up, right knee tucks in, out, bring it back, and walk it back up. Take your time, you're moving as slowly as you can today. <sighs> Not as slowly as you can, as slowly, as slowly as you want to today. All the way out, bring it up, <sighs> tuck, and then bring it back. Feel those abs fire up. We got the hips mobilizing. You've got about 15 seconds left here. Make sure you're breathing and you're not holding your breath at all here. Seven, I'm gonna try to get one more in. Good, come all the way up. We have got an up and over lateral lunge. We're gonna bring those arms into it. So I'm gonna to touch down, right fingertips to left foot, step together, up and over. Here we go, so down, step, so we're moving all the limbs here today, trying to get the heart rate up a bit, get the whole body warm. You got that inner thigh, getting a nice little stretch, right? 25, 
Then we get to lay down, work some abs. You've got 10 seconds left. You can move as slowly as you need to. Three. Nice, coming all the way down onto your back. I'm just gonna do a single leg stretch. I'm gonna stretch my hamstring out as I work the abs. So extend one leg, grab the other, pulse, pulse, stretch, and switch. So a little, exhale, exhale as you pulse, then inhale to switch. Belly button's driving into the mat beneath you. My legs are so sore. My hamstrings are so sore. I so needed this today. We're almost done. 10 seconds, guys. If you're starting to strain through the neck, just bring it down. Relax the head, but keep that tension through the core. Good. All right, we're coming into that inchworm, but we're gonna go right leg up and out to the side for that lizard, left knee tucks. Here we go. Rolling down, walk it out, right leg up and out, left knee tuck, walk it back up. Remember, this is not a race, so take your sweet time. Right leg up and out, tuck. Again, making sure you're breathing. Think about a big exhale when you drive that knee. 10 seconds left, let's try to get one more in. All the way out, up, in, and back out. Beautiful, all right. We have got that up and over, lateral lunge, using those arms to bring the heart rate up, little momentum in two. Here we go. Opposite foot, opposite finger, step together and over. So if you want to pick up the pace here, you can start hopping this. Whatever feels good for you today. Make sure you're listening to your body, training smart. 17. You've got 10 seconds on the clock right here. Then we get to come all the way down for that hammy stretch. Good. All the way down. We stretch the leg as we work the abs. I got my heart rate up. Here we go, right here. Pulse, pulse, and switch. So if you wanna intensify things, you can speed this up. So it's just a grab, it's not a pulse. I still want you to exhale as you pull that leg in, but or you can slow it back down. And again, if you're straining through the head and the neck, go ahead and relax the head down on the mat. Whatever feels good, guys, 10 seconds. This is your workout. Not mine, your body, not mine. Three. And relax. All right, we're coming up. We've got our next circuit. All right, guys, our next exercise is a hip flexor stretch. So if you've got an exercise mat, you, and you might wanna put it underneath your knee here. So I'm gonna put my right knee down on the, on the ground, my left leg out in front. I'm gonna tuck, Franny is smelling me because I was just petting our puppy. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck the pelvis. I'm gonna reach the arm that's on the side of the uh, leg that's back and behind up. And then I'm gonna bring the hands to the ground, squeeze, and then come back down and repeat. Here we go. So I've tucked my pelvis, 
I'm gonna reach my right arm up, back in, hands down, squeeze, lift. Again, down, tuck, reach, up, lift. So you're squeezing your glute, stretching out that leg that is straight in front, and then we're stretching that hip flexor of the leg that's back and behind. 15 seconds. Take your time with this one. There's no rush. You've got five seconds left. Try not to let your hips roll open. Beautiful. We're gonna do a similar stretch with the arm, except now I'm gonna step side to side as I stretch. I'm gonna go sumo, reach, step together, other way, here we go. Step together, reach. Give yourself some love handles today. Trying to bend through the side body. Now if you want to make things a little more intense, you can hop it, burning the quads a little burning those obliques a little. Feels good though. You've got 10. Give me the love handles, big bend. Three. Beautiful. Coming all the way down. Drop the knees to the right side. Just lay it there. Fingertips back and behind. And we're gonna crunch up. Okay, Franny. Okay. Here we go. So the knees have fallen to the right. And we're working that left oblique with just a little crunch. So, oh my God, Franny. Seriously. Big exhale as you crunch up. Inhale to lower down. So you're working your side right here. <sighs> Nothing crazy. Enjoy the fact that we're laying down. <sighs> Good, you're almost done. <sighs> You've got to breathe. Pull the belly button to your spine. <sighs> Good, all right. So now I'm coming up. I'm gonna put my left I'm sorry, my right leg in front, left leg back and behind. We'll reach up, come up, squeeze the boot. Here we go. Tuck, reach, dive forward, squeeze the boot. Back down, bend, reach, and lift as you dive forward. That leg is way tighter. Reach. Lift, squeeze. Again, you are over halfway. <sighs> squeeze. Again, tuck. <sighs> Hip flexor, then hamstring, and a little bit of glute work too. <sighs> Good, we're coming up, and we've got that sidestep sumo with that bend. We go in five seconds. Get ready for it. I'm gonna start over here. Here we go, reach, step together, and reach the opposite way. Working at your pace for today. This is not your hit pace, right? This is your slow recovery day pace. Big exhale, as you reach, 15 seconds, try to get that bicep right alongside your ear. Nice side body stretch and strengthener. Except my quads are burning. Yeah! All right, coming down, dropping your knees to the left. And we'll crunch here, and then we'll be halfway. Oh, I got a crack in my back. All right, fingertips back and behind. Knees to the left. 
crunch up and down. Franny just really wants to be with me here. Okay, Fran. Hi, I love you. Exhale, inhale down. Focus on using your obliques. You can always take your hand, put it there, so you can actually feel the muscles at work. Don't crank that chin to your chest. Just think lift the head, neck, and shoulders a few inches off the ground with a big exhale. Last three. And rest. All right, my friends, we're coming all the way up again. No, actually, good news, we get to stay down. And we'll finish the second half of this workout. So all I'm gonna do is flip myself over and we're gonna do a push-up variation. Don't worry, it's not a crazy push-up. It's a coiled push-up. So we're gonna come all the way down. Franny's gonna move so you can see me. We're gonna come all the way down onto our stomachs. And I'm gonna lift the chest up off the ground as I coil myself to one side. So I'm gonna engage my lats, my obliques, place the palms down, curl the toes under, and push up here. Or I can always do it from my knees. We go in two, here we go, lift, coil, press up, and down. Coil yourself to the other side, take your time. You should feel those obliques almost kind of cramp up on you. Coil, other side, up, and slowly down. Remember, you can do this from the knees. This is your workout. You are in charge of the exercises you do. Five seconds. Two. Nice. All right, we're coming all the way up. I'm going to cross, cross, tap, tap. Cross, cross, punch, tap, tap. So it's like a lunge. So cross, cross, tap, tap. Good. Cross, cross, tap, tap. Cross, cross, we got it, tap, tap. Getting the heart rate up, working the core, whether you realize it or not. So stay engaged, exhale every time you go for that big twist. You've got 10 seconds left. Three. Good, all the way down. Bring the arms out to your sides here. I'm going to windmill my knees to one side, bring them center, crunch up, repeat. So drop, bring it back up, extend as I crunch and exhale, bring it back, opposite side. Down, up, good, down, up. I've got, I feel like a spider web in my mouth, probably just a hair, but my brain is like, you ate a spider. What are you gonna do? <sighs> Almost done, guys. Five. Then we'll go from the top. <sighs> Good. All right, so flipping over, we got the coiled push-up. Let me get this. Is it a spider web? It's a hair. It's not a spider. Didn't eat a black widow. In two, coil. Here we go. Up, coiling to one side. Up. So I want you to make sure that your low back doesn't sway here. So engage the abs before you come up. So you're here, think about tucking that pelvis, pushing up. If you lack the control, Today, you can always go from the knees. Think about putting yourself in a constant crunch. 
with the core. Yes, five. And beautiful, we've got that cross, cross, tap down, tap down. In five seconds. Feeling it today, guys. Two, here we go. Cross, cross, tap, tap. Cross, cross, tap, tap. Okay, if you wanna pick up the pace, skip it. Cross, cross, tap, tap. You choose your adventure today. 20 seconds. We've got 15. Stay with me. Doing your own version. Five. Two. All right, we're down. We've got that windmill crunch. The extension of the legs. Arms are out to the sides. Knees up at tabletop. We drop, bring it back. <sighs> Extend, exhale, crunch. <sighs> Every time you crunch, you drive the belly button into the floor beneath you. You wanna train your abdominals <sighs> to Pull in, not out. So pull it in. You've got five seconds. I feel like I'm traveling across the floor here. Rest. All right, guys, we are coming up for our last circuit. All right, guys, our last circuit, we're starting with a standing version of a bird dog. So if you've done any exercises or workouts with me before, you know what a bird dog is. We're usually down on all fours. So today we're gonna stand. So I'm gonna hinge myself over and I will lift one arm and then lift the opposite leg together and then switch. So we're gonna stay hinged the whole time. If you start to pick up through your low back, you can come up, shake it out, check your form and restart. Here we go. So hinge it over, lift one side, opposite leg, bring it back in to switch. This is gonna be my not so sturdy side. Yes, we got it. Down. So I want you to exhale as you lift. Inhale to bring it back in. Exhale, what am I doing, Fran? <laughs> She's watching me like, what are you doing? So watch the stability of the ankle, the arch of the foot. So press the big toe into the ground to give yourself a big, strong arch in the foot. That's gonna help you stay balanced. Beautiful. I'm gonna come into a deep squat and I'm going to lift lower and rotate. If you cannot come into a deep squat, you're gonna work on that the entire 45 seconds. So hang on to a couch or something right there. All right, we're here. Lift, lower down, place one hand center, reach. Opposite hand center, reach. So we're stretching out that low back, mobilizing the hips. Exhale as you rotate. Franny's still watching me like a hawk. And extend. I'm gonna start with this side. Pushing those knees out. Not allowing that low back to round over. Five more seconds. Two. Good, now go just plop your booty on the floor. I'm gonna get into a side plank here and I'm gonna hollow roll to the other side. So I'm gonna come down onto my bum after this side plank here to roll to the other side. So I'm here, lift, lower, roll, 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 roll. Other side. Again, so I'm pulling my core in. 
going into that side plank and I'm rolling, keeping those legs extended right on my tailbone there. I'm trying not to roll out of my camera frame. I think I'm good. Keep breathing, make sure you're not holding your breath. Five, this is a feel good circuit. Three. Excellent, we're back up to do all of those one more time and then we'll be done. Well, we're gonna stretch a little and then we'll be done. All right, bird dog from standing, here we go. Extend, reaching opposite arm and opposite leg in opposite directions. Belly button's pulled in. You're strengthening the low back. In fact, the entire back body, you're strengthening the arches of the feet and the ankles. I can't really talk because I'm so focused on not busting my butt here. 15 seconds, hello, I looked away and I almost fell. Nice job guys, staying low, stay hinged. Two, gotta get one more on this side. Good, we've got the deep squat with that booty lift and the rotation. Remember, if you don't have the deep squat, you are hanging onto your couch, just working on getting into that deep squat. <sighs> lift, lower, rotate, and rotate. Good, lift. I hope everyone's feeling better than they did when they first started. I know I am. Good, again, lift, lower, rotate, and rotate. I actually broke a sweat. Good, you got under 15, guys. 10, five, Nice, last 45 seconds of this workout. And then we'll stretch a little, not much. We go in three, because we've been stretching this whole time. Here we go, up, lower down, roll to the other side, lift. Hold that side plank as long as you feel like today. Maybe it's very brief, you come up and you roll. Or maybe you're gonna spend a few seconds here really working those obliques. <sighs> Wherever you're at today, I am on board. <sighs> 15 seconds left, guys. <sighs> Woo! Five, two, Nice job, you guys. All right, stick around. We're gonna stretch a little bit more and I will let you move on with the rest of your day. So go ahead and bring yourself into a downward dog. So we're gonna kind of do some of the <coughs> moves we did in the warm up. So bring yourself downward dog, pedal your feet, stretch to the back of the legs. Franny is barking at people. <sighs> and then go ahead and extend that right leg up, hold for just a second or two, and then bend and let the hips fall open, stretching the hip flexors, even through those psoas, and then bring it up and under. What, Franny? Can you hear her growling? Bring it up and under pigeon pose and relax into it. We'll spend a few seconds here. I like to go for a few deep breaths. Hello, Fran. You got sticks attached to you. Been getting into trouble out there. Just breathe here, guys. And then, <laughs> and then go ahead and come back into that downward dog. Hello, Fran. Pedal your feet again. I'm gonna take a step out, so maybe I can do the opposite side. All right, left leg comes up. Breathe for a sec, and then let it fall open as you bend at the knee. 
deep breaths here. And then bring it under. Pigeon. Relax into it. It don't have to go all the way down like I am. Just do your best. Like Franny is. Come here. Come here, Fran. Oh, no. No dirty paws in my face. I'm relaxing into it. Hi. <sighs> Proud of yourselves for moving your body today. Wasn't super intense, but it was perfect for me today. All right. Now, I'm actually going to get myself all the way up to stand. So bring yourself back into a downward dog. And just like we did earlier today, I'm going to jump up. And then I'm going to roll up nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back and down. Spend a little bit of time on the neck and shoulders here. So give me a few shoulder rolls back and down. And then tilt the head side to side. Good. And now I'm going to take one hand. So let's take, you just mirror me. Take the hand, put it behind your back so it's against your opposite side here. And then I'm going to tilt that head to the side, bringing this hand to kind of stretch through the side of my neck here. Breathe. Stretching through the side of the neck. Good. And then release that hand. And now take your gaze up and around. So I'm looking to the opposite corner of the room, finding where I need to spend a little extra time. Good, release. Roll the shoulders back and down a couple times. Bringing the opposite hand now to the outside of the opposite hip. Tilt the head, grab right next to the ear. Don't force anything. Relax that shoulder down. Stretching here. Breathe deep. You are done with your workout. You did it. All right, go ahead and release and now take your gaze around. Find where you need an extra stretch. For me, it's right around here. And then release again. Couple shoulder rolls. Keep your chest proud and open for the rest of the day. All right, guys. This is where I'm going to leave you. If you did like this workout and you like working out with me, be sure to check out my website, tkfit.org, where I've got tons more workouts and exercise program that are totally planned out for you for weeks and months at a time. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you next time.